We've been dreaming about flying cars since the Jetsons. So far though, our tires have stayed on the ground. We were lied to by the Jetsons. According to that show, we were supposed to be tooling around in flying cars by now. But now we're probably closer than we've ever been. Check out this beauty, the Aeromobile. It can drive on the road with other cars, but it can also fly. The company, also called Aeromobile, made the car part of this innovation very, well, car-like. It can fit in a parking space and uses regular gas. In the air, it's also very plane-like. It can be used at any airport, the company says, and can take off from any grass or paved strip at least 950 feet long. Can't wait to get your hands on one? Aeromobile's co-founder is shooting for a 2017 release date. And RT says although final pricing is still being worked out, it's still going to cost less than some supercars. The Verge says the company's co-founder didn't name a specific price, just that it would cost more than a couple hundred thousand euros. Even if you have that kind of cash, only pilots will be able to fly this bad boy. Sorry fans of The Fifth Element and Back to the Future. Speaking of which, in Back to the Future Part 2, there were flying cars by October 21st, 2015. The real world won't hit that mark, but if the Aeromobile releases as scheduled, it won't miss that date by much either. You've gotta come back with me. Where? Back to the future. 2017, baby. For Newsy, I'm Catherine Beek.